Have you ever wondered what are the pros and cons of pursuing an MBA in India versus an MBA abroad? If you are planning to apply for an MBA program, you might be confused about which option is better for you. There are many factors to consider such as the cost, the quality, the opportunities, and the challenges of studying in India or abroad. In this video, we will compare and contrast the MBA in India versus MBA abroad and help you make an informed decision. Let's begin. Top colleges for MBA in India and abroad. Many suitable universities in India provide graduates with the option of pursuing an MBA. Their fees can range from 12 lakhs to 30 lakhs Indian rupees. Some of the most popular universities are the Indian Institute of Management or IIM, the Indian School of Business, Xavier School of Management, the Indian Institute of Technology or IIT, the Management Development Institute, and the SP Jain Institute of Management. Students usually prefer to pursue an MBA in countries such as the USA, UK, Australia, Germany, Canada, and Singapore. The tuition fees here can range from $50,000 to $80,000. Some of the most well-known universities abroad are Harvard Business School, London Business School, Australian Graduate School of Management, TUM, Munich Business School, Rotman School of Management, University of Toronto, and the National University of Singapore or NUS and the NUS Business School. Entrance exam requirements for an MBA degree in India, a student can take the following entrance exams. These entrance exams also help you get admission to the PG Diploma in Management. Following these exams, students will also be interviewed personally to finalize their admission. For an MBA abroad, students are required to take the GMAT test as well. Universities abroad accept GRE scores in place of GMAT scores as well. The GMAT test is designed to assess critical thinking problem-solving, analytical writing, and verbal and quantitative skills. The GRE is a test designed to assess the verbal reasoning, quantitative reasoning, and analytical writing skills of applicants. Some universities also require English proficiency tests such as IELTS and TOEFL. Course Structure If students pursue an MBA in India, it is important to know that their course duration will be two years the course will be a full-time course. The students can specialize in finance, marketing, HR, entrepreneurship, international business, supply chain, healthcare, etc. The Indian MBA mostly focuses on a theoretical teaching structure. For studying abroad, however, the course duration can be one to two years. The universities offer full-time, part-time, and online courses as per the students' preferences. The students can specialize in finance, marketing, HR, entrepreneurship, data analytics, digital marketing, consulting, information systems, etc. Their teaching structure focuses on theory, along with practical training and exposure. Placements in India versus abroad. In 2023, employability among Indian Business Administration graduates was about 60%. You can find jobs that pay you 16 to 27 lakh Indian rupees after completing an MBA in India. The average salaries for MBA graduates from top Indian institutes range from 20 to 30 lakh Indian rupees per annum. The top performer can exceed 50 lakh Indian rupees. MBA graduates from top international business schools like Harvard Business School, Stanford Graduate School of Business, etc. have access to a vast network of recruiters from multinational corporations and global institutions. If you pursue an MBA abroad in countries like the USA, UK, Canada, or Australia, etc., you can earn salaries as high as 75 lakh Indian rupees. Cost of living. If one studies in India, one must be prepared for the following approximate budget. Rent per month, 10 to 15,000 rupees. Local transport, 1,250 rupees. Electricity bill, 2,200 rupees. Groceries, 2 to 4,000 rupees. Entertainment, 2,000 rupees. Scholarship, 30,000 rupees. If one studies MBA abroad, one must be prepared for the following approximate budget. Rent per month, 500 to 1,200 dollars. Local transport, 100 dollars. Electricity bill, 
groceries, $150 to $200. Entertainment, $100 to $300. Scholarship, $7,500. In conclusion, an MBA in India versus an MBA abroad is a complex choice. There is no definitive answer to which option is better, as it depends on various factors and personal preferences. Ultimately, it is up to you to decide what suits you best. We hope this video has given you some useful insights and guidance. Thanks for watching.